You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. You know, there's a there's a sad situation going on right now. Uh, and our, our hearts go out to Fernando Valenzuela. I believe he's hospitalized. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, the, the great Dodger pitcher from Mexico, Fernando Venezuela. He, I think he's going to major diabetic. Uh, uh, like, he looked like a, they, they had some photos of him recently at a signing, maybe two, not even two months ago. And uh, he looked like a skeleton. Alejandro when I, and I went to a Dodgers game not too, like, I don't know, mm. weeks or a month ago when we saw him, they were honoring, I think they were honoring Dusty Baker. Yeah. And he was there. And, you know, Valenzuela, when I was a little kid, Valenzuela, I had the the shirt. Yeah. With the big head and the little yeah. body cartoon of him. He was my guy. I was like, Dodgers was my, the first team I loved. Um, Pedro Guerrero. And Valenzuela were like my two guys that I was like, I want to be them when I grow up. But I guess yeah, that Dusty was Baker, good. yeah, Ron Say, Davy Lopes, Bill yeah. Russell, Steve Garvey, uh, Steve Sachs. Yeah, he looks oh, you just had to bring it up. Wow, so you know, uh, that's, looks, why didn't that's, you think it was? That's a funny thing when you see actors and celebrities that you've seen all your life and you might see them in a movie mm -hmm. that just comes out and then they age it feels like they age so quickly because you'll see them and you're like god how did you get so old so quick and it's just like the delay of movies and stuff and the fact that once you get that age you you know you can decline pretty quickly do, i saw a video a, of douglas do me a recently. favor well, really quickly jason fletcher do me a favor and find me an old school photo of fernando so we can remember his yeah. glory as well uh uh our, our you know we're sending a lot of love to his family yeah. uh jason what were you saying just like uh i think i saw michael douglas recently in a video and it's just like wow you got old how you got old so quick yeah. it's just weird because these people you know well he you know he's he's not young yeah i mean he was you know even in the 90s he was you know getting oldish yeah uh, there that's we go. Better. That's better. That's the Fernando we remember. Oh man. Yeah, he was a big dude. Well, he was he was uh, you know, the husky Mexican. But I mean, he lived a great life. I mean, not that he's gone, but he's alive, but like I'm sure he's uh I'm sure he feels very blessed for the life that he was able to live and give back to the community and be so i mean to that kind of goes back to like the honor of like seeing people at the theater you know when you perform mm -hmm. like what he means to the la community and pretty much his whole life has been he's revered and to walk around and just give little little doses of sunshine to people throughout his day i bet he could walk around and people are like oh fernando can i take a picture with you like there's something really amazing and beautiful about that i mean we'll, we'll go down the hole right it's like then you, you put that with pete rose yeah. and he passed away not ever getting into the hall of fame yeah Be, you know even though he owned up to it it's like you know what the guy needs to be in the hall of fame man like yeah, he, I mean, this guy was the greatest hitter. He always played one hundred percent. He messed up. He's human. He didn't cheat to get those hits. And didn't those cheat hits to get were yeah. hard. People, I don't think people realize how hard it is to get those hits. And he played with reckless abandon to do reckless, that. Yeah, yeah. And Absolutely. also, like, it's one of those things where it's like there were other people doing a lot worse at the time. That was, that was the greeny era. So, yeah. you know, yep. Yep.